We are here tonight calling all superheroes to help pediatric patient families being served by our local Ronald McDonald House charities. We've met some incredible parents who are navigating extraordinarily tough circumstances around their child's health and their health journey. We've met some of the staff who work at the Ronald McDonald House Charities and the outstanding work that they do. And we've met some of the volunteers that make all of this mission possible. And we've been able to engage with you, the community of superheroes that can continue to support and grow this incredible work. As we near the end of this broadcast, we want to look at some of these family superheroes and the qualities they possess that inspire us to find our own superpower and do some good in this world. Yeah, the first superhero quality we will explore is always have a team. Let's learn about Baby Valkyrie and the team her mom relies on to help her continue to fight. Ronald McDonald's House Charities means the world to me. I felt very isolated when I first came from Reno to get my daughter the care she needed because I don't have a village of family to help me out or to come and visit. And so everyone in there kind of became my village and became my new family. I wouldn't have been able to eat <laughs> for a couple of weeks if it weren't for the volunteers and people bringing food and the donations. And it just, like, it means the world because you don't really think about eating and, you know, taking care of yourself when your child is sick. So I've done just one type of volunteering, and that was cooking. Cooking is my love language. I love to feed people and make them happy through food. There's nothing like bringing joy through food or a good home-cooked meal. And it, it brought me a lot of warmth inside and, and fullness and not having to think about, like, where am I going to eat while having to worry about my child who's getting care. All of my nurses, all of the doctors who rendered care to my baby are all superheroes to me. And then all of the volunteers and the workers in the Ronald McDonald House have just made my, my journey here a lot easier. Just seeing everybody and sharing stories with all the other parents in the house, like, it just brought me a lot of happiness back to my spirit and kind of just let me know that it was going to be okay because I didn't feel so isolated with her injury anymore. Well, thankfully, Valkyrie has an amazing team to help her win her battle. The next superhero quality we are going to explore is showing up to do battle, even when it wasn't a choice you would make. We want to meet Katie Chad, mom of Sean, who's currently battling not his first, but his second round of cancer. Sean first received the diagnosis of AML leukemia when he was 11 years old on his birthday. And we spent a month in Bolson doing chemo and they asked us to pick a hospital. So we did some research and we decided on Dr. Boyer so we came here to Salt Lake. And so we went to Children's Primary and we did a few more months of chemo and they finally gave us a bone marrow transplant and it worked. And they give you 100 days you know, before they let you go home. So we got to come to Ronald McDonald House and we won. We you know, went into remission for three years. So when Sean got a second diagnosis of AML leukemia, it came back. We relapsed. And he was 14 years old. He was going to go to ninth grade. It happened the day before ninth grade. And we went into the doctor's office and she told us the news. And it's harder on me than him. He did great. He's like, I knew it was going to happen. I'm ready. Superheroes don't get to choose, but they show up for the fight. Um, Sean, he shows up every day. He doesn't have a choice. You know, but staying positive or fighting even when you don't want to. You could tell there was times that he could have just gave up. The Ronald McDonald House is our home. They're supportive. It's a reassurance we don't feel overwhelmed or neglected because we have a place to go. We're safe. We have food. It's amazing. We couldn't do it without you guys. So. Well, Sean has an incredible story. He faced such difficult, tough odds. There were ups, there were downs, but through it all, he was always there to keep fighting and stay positive. That's right, and in order to keep fighting, you need hope. Meet Michelle Isabella's mom and their incredible journey where they never gave up hope. Well, Isabella's diagnosis was um, HLHS when she was born, so hypoplastic left heart syndrome. She was born with half a heart. Um, and after the second operation, the Glenn surgery, she um, went into heart failure. 
She was placed on a VAD, a ventricle advice, it helped her bridge until transplant. So she had the VAD for eight months and a half, and she received her heart in September last year. We, we fear for her life every day, but we also see the joy in her eyes, and it brings us peace, and it reminds us that she's here to fight, and we're here to support her in whatever she needs. The hope is always there, and the hope is that she will grow up and, you know, and she can tell her story herself and do all the things that she has come to this world to do and she's meant to do. We find our hope in our faith. Uh, we are a very religious family. We also find our hope within our family, in each other. We support each other a lot, and being together has been one of the best things. We have a group of heart moms, too, that we absolutely adore. And their kids and their stories and their strength bring us a lot of hope as well. Trying to not feel alone is it's very important in reaching out to any other moms or any other families that are in the same situation. Um, just because I know each kid is different, but when we are all together, we can support each other and we can help each other and lift each other up. The Ronald McDonald charity has been amazing. It means the world to us. It has helped us when we didn't know what we were going to do and has bring us that peace that we needed to keep going with Isabella. Isabella's, Isabella's story is one that reminds us never give up. Miracles do happen. Well, we're coming to the end of this very special broadcast. You can be a superhero tonight and help pediatric patients like Valkyrie, Sean, and Isabella, and their families. It's simple. Just make a gift. When you donate, you can choose to donate in honor of one of those remarkable children. And to donate, please text SUPERHERO to 78619 or visit RonaldMcDonaldHouseUtah.org or scan the QR code that's on your screen right now. Okay, when we come back, we will remind you how to donate again and set a donation goal for our superhero viewers that are watching tonight. We'll be right back.